Okay, uh, this is a re-recording. I was supposed to, uh, I wanted to, uh, I, I made a, made a video on this subject again, but, um, uh, on this subject before, but I, I, I couldn't remember dude's name. Now I know his name. La David Johnson. Sergeant La David Johnson. Who, who, who was killed in an ambush in West Africa two weeks ago. When they flew his body out back home to be buried. And, uh, of course, they, they recorded his, um, his 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 now widow, who was six months pregnant with his child, uh, slumped over his over his, over his casket, uh, crying, and like um, according to her and the congresswoman um, in Florida, whose name I can't remember, uh, they they said that he Donald uh, Donald Trump called uh, called them and said he knew what he was getting himself into when he signed up for that. For, uh, for that uh, for that position now if that that's if that's not the most insensitive ass and I remark I've heard from this white devil I don't I don't know what is like uh, you know so when I when I when I can't think that he when I just when I can't think that he can't stoop any lower he just goes as low as he possibly can okay this, uh, uh, n number 45 is nothing but a racist bigot he's not he's nothing but a white supremacist and like um it's unfortunate that people are too dumb to even some people are too dumb to realize that okay black people have noticed this for like the last 40 years that this deem that this uh this child molesting uh, racist is nothing but a is uh is nothing but an asshole it's nothing but a, a racist piece of crap uh, up, up there put it up uh, of the tell, telling this woman that she knew what uh, he knew uh, what he got himself into when he signed up for that. Okay, first of all, like a, no, no matter who you are, what type of job you have, whether it's risky or not, you know what you got yourself into when you signed up for a job. But you don't say stuff like that. And of course, Donald Trump would say that about about uh, La David Johnson. Uh, he was because uh, La, La, La David Johnson was a black man, and you know, and you already know how bigoted he is towards blacks. Now uh, he, he didn't say nothing about the other, uh, the other three who were white. I think one was Hispanic, who uh, who were also killed. But he said something about about this man, and, and about this man, because he was he was black. And of course, the mainstream media is going to try to downplay that and try to make it like we uh, we don't know. Uh, or we were just hearing things, or we misinterpreted what he said. We know exactly what the hell he said. Okay, what he said was was crystal clear, and we and we and we got a uh, black people picked up on that instantly. Okay, we're not stupid, and like uh, and of course when he when he when he, uh, when he when he was reporting on the widow, he said that woman or that lady. I think he said that woman. He he couldn't even say her name, last name Johnson. Johnson is a common is a common last name. I can't, like, like he couldn't remember that. I mean, are you that much of an ass? He could, like, uh, uh, uh he had, he showed. No, this goes to show you the, uh, the lack of respect that he, uh, disrespect that he has for black people, and the lack of, um, the, the lack of respect that he, um, that that's geared towards the military, but uh, primarily black mili uh, people in the military. Okay. I'm not surprised by about Donald Trump saying saying something so asinine. Like this, I, I'm not surprised by this by a long shot, and it's and it's very unfortunate that the that the uh, cronies around him and the idiots that voted for him are uh, still can uh, are, are are gonna give him the thumbs up and a okay and say that say of uh, what he said or uh, uh, what, what nothing wrong with, with what he said. You're you're just as guilty as he is. Talk about he knew what he got himself. He knew what he uh what he signed up for. But tell, but tell me this, tell me this, like, uh, did, did Donald Trump uh, serve in the military? No, he didn't serve in the military. And you know, you know what? A lot of these warmongering white supremacists who who uh, talk about let's go to war and let's bomb this place and bomb that place, most of them never served in the military. Most of them never put on that, put on that uniform. Like he never served. Dick Cheney never served. Mike Pence never served. Bill Clinton never served. Like the the biggest warmongers are the ones who never ever ever served, and like um he uh Donald Trump got five deferments to keep him from to uh from going to Vietnam. Like he he was of age uh, during 1965. He was uh, he was old enough to go to the uh, Vietnam War, but, but then his uh, his father bribed uh, uh 
his uh, his father uh, ma- uh bribed and made those deferments to keep him from going. I kind of wish he went, like if, if because uh, if he got snuffed out, we wouldn't we wouldn't have this uh, idiot, uh, th- th- this play this play this plague of a uh, um, idiot in our White House right now. And of course, he's gonna do, he uh, he'll do the typical uh, thing. He'll he'll deflect on a brother that came before him. Everything is Obama's fault. But see, th- this is what white people do. Uh, like white white people always blame others, mainly blacks when uh, when they uh, when they get caught with their pants down and their foot in their mouth. I'm talking about he knew what he was getting into. Racist bigot.